Hey, hello and welcome to BJ Vlogs. Thank you so much. Why did I love a BJ Vlogs? I love you so much. And you guys have shown me so much love, so much support. And I cannot thank you less. You know, today I'm on the full stretch market again. But this time, not in the evening. I'm here in the daytime. And I want to show you the kind of food that we eat here in the morning here in China. Ah, why am I making sure? Ah, ha, ha. So, so. Okay. So, I want to show you the kind of food that we eat here in China during the day. I'll be showing you food that we eat in the evening. But today I want to show you breakfast. So please follow me. Let's go. Let's go and have fun. I don't know which ones to eat. I normally eat bars or jars, but today I want to eat something different. Maybe we got me. No. Let's go. Let's see what we have. And please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. All right. So this is actually the entrance to the place. Um, this is actually the entrance, and it is you know uh, before. Uh, before I thought the one in Wuhan was the biggest. That is what I was thinking. But I've been, I've come to Wuhan here, and I want to change my mind because the one that I'm seeing here is super, super, super big. I'm not really sure the entire place, but you let's go in there and let's see. If actually this, oh my God, the love for meat is something else. And so even in breakfast time, Chinese people are eating meat. Let's go. Oh my God, this is actually going to be tasty. Uh, please, I, I think I think I have to give my phone to somebody so I don't end up using all my money today. But I can see meat here, and oh my god! Already, I, I I don't know, but this is this this should look good. This should look good. But having meat for breakfast, like having kebab for breakfast, I don't know how it's going to be like. But I know, yes, it's going to be like very much tasty. One should be. Uh, Chicken feet and chicken, yeah, chicken feet. But I love chicken feet. I don't know whether you love it, but if you love it, please comment in the comment section. But I think this one should be potatoes, and these ones, yeah, these ones are seafood. I, I actually don't really like seafood, but these ones are seafood. Oh my god! But it will look very like we have the shrimps here and the, the lobsters. These are sh sh shell foods, seafoods, and. And this one's a uh, potato, and um, I think uh, what do you call it? Sausage and all of that. But, well, Laila, well, Laila, well, Laila. I think this one should be uh, Regamia. This one is jazz. I know, but I'll come back, well, Laila. Ah, so yeah. But these are um, generally basic foods that, or uh, morning breakfast that Chinese people eat. Something I love about China is that you can eat these foods at any other time of the day. It's not specifically for breakfast, but you can eat it any other time of the day. And so a lot of people want to take this for breakfast, but they will still come back and then eat this for lunch, and then come back and eat this for supper as well. Okay, so one thing that I'm seeing here on the stretch is that it is not only about uh, smoked or like freshly prepared meal, but we also have the fish. But I think this fish are peculiar to Wuchan. It's called the Wuchan Yu or something like Wuchan fish. Yeah. And uh, we have like other chicken and uh, other dark stuff. Yeah, this this is dark, and then this is chicken. Uh, sorry, dark and chicken. Uh, but this one, dark is actually cow, yeah, cow, yeah, or something. And then we have the fish. But this fish, I understand, is peculiar to uh, Wuchan. So it's called the Wuchan Zhu. And then we have the ice cream joint. That after all this, you still have to come back and then have some something to eat here. So this is the ice cream joint that you can see here. Basically, this is a very busy food stretch. And but I'm I'm seeing a lot of seafoods today, and I'm seeing a lot of um, meat today. But one thing I also know about China is that they like the kind of food is also dependent on the kind of season and the time of the day and all of that. But I'm seeing the jiaozi, the baozi, which is the common ones that people would eat, and then the uh, almighty regamian. You know, for Wuhan, we say that the staple food for Wuhan is what regamian, and so it's not surprising to see a lot of regamian or mian tiao, like noodle stuff, mian tiao. No, those stuff that people are, but these are in the family of Baozi and then the Jaozis, yes. And yes, you know, you cannot come to China without seeing pork. And so, if I see pork in my shot, it is very, very, very in its right proportion. It is very true because Chinese people love pork. And so, this is pork feet decorated to the highest peak, but it looks delicious. Uh, you know, so far I've not tried any of them, but I'll come back to try them so we can have a fair assessment of how they how they how they taste. But let's go. And you know, one thing also about China is the potato and then the tofu. We have potato and tofu. 
um, Chinese people like uh, potato and then they also love tofu. So this is a, a typical Chinese breakfast and it can also be eaten in any other time of the day. Uh, still the, the basic jiaozi and then the bowsers and all that you can see and have here in China. So if you, want, if you want to come to China, remember that these are the basic foods that we eat. And I know people are going to put in the comment section that ABJ, are you able to eat this food? Yes, I enjoy them. Basically, I enjoy them because they are very, very tasty. Chinese foods are very tasty. I've not tried every other Chinese food, but... Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what this is. I, I, I think it should be eggs. I don't know whether it's eggs, but I think it should, it's, it's... No, this is like uh, tofu with uh, rice, right? I think they have rice in there. It's been a long time. I think I've eaten some before, but it's a very long time. But they, they have the right content, uh, rice content in there, and it looks sticky, but it is very delicious. But I think I have to come and try for my for my viewers to know, and those who want to come to China to know that yes, we are eating some good meal here in China. And this, I told you, these are chicken feet, chicken feet. But the spice alone, if you love spices, then it is right for you. But I don't like too much spices, so I think it's okay. But these are chicken feet and mixed with a lot of chili and then a lot of um, lime a lot of lime for us to taste yeah so just as you can see in your shot uh, but i cannot read these chinese characters i would have read them for you too you know but everyone depicts something different but this is a collection of uh, it's it's like a mixture of fruit you, you select them the ones that you want to buy and then they kind of like the dessert and they wait for you and then you, you pay how much is due them so this is one of the joints that or the common breakfast that you can find in china but i actually don't know their typical chinese names but if you are watching this video and you are from china and you have stayed in china for that long and you know the names of this meal you can tell me what the names are and then i'll gladly gladly educate my viewers but it is the full street the full stretch here in china and this is not today being this is just morning breakfast that you can typically eat in china but i'll go around and then taste a lot of them for you to know what it is uh, let me see i think there is one free one let me uh, uh, uh this okay this one i don't know the name but let me just try oh where is you i think i have to look for more very very delicious it's like a uh, nut mixed with uh, milk yeah this is a big of coming to the food street because we have a lot of them for free i think today i have to do a lot of the free ones mm. but one thing is that i've not really seen much of the wrap food i've not seen much of the wrap food but i think we have some in our strength yeah, you know, I told you, Regavia is one of the best meals that you can get in China, and it's the cheapest in Wuhan. It is the cheapest. And so, every place that you go, you realize that they are selling Regavia, Regavia, Regavia. And actually, that, that happens to be my favorite. It, it happens to be my favorite. I will go and then eat some today so that you know what I'm talking about. But generally, it is almost at the end of the stretch. Uh, it looks very busy. But we have two or three parts of the stretch that I want to still show you. So on the other stretch, we still have a lot of foods that are being sold there. Ah! On the other stretch, there are a lot of food that is being sold there. So I'll go there and then also taste for you to know that yes, indeed, Chinese foods are one of the best that you can find on the market. And when, once you want to come to China, you should understand that. Yes, you are ready to eat all of this. And ah, uh, uh, Jila Hama. Uh, I told you that for the free. Ah, then shall. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha. Oh, so this one tastes like something like in my, in my country. Uh, we call it squash. In my country, we call it squash. It looks like what we call sobulu, but this one is typical squash. And the other, but it, it, is, it is tasty. Ha, ha. We say ha, ha. It is, it is very tasty. Mm. Yeah. I think I'll, I'll, I'll have to come back. Right? I'll have to come back and then have a, have a good drink. 
but it, it is tasty. But I told you that for pork, you cannot do away with pork here in China. Yeah, so if you want to come to China and then you love pork, then it means that you are coming to the right place. But if you don't love it, it's also not compulsory to eat them here. But generally, there are a lot of pork meals here. And so, okay, so I'm almost at the end of the stretch. But for the biggest crab here in Wuchan, I'm going to show you in a bit. But on this stretch, I'm seeing this a lot of this meal that I don't know, but I have to try for you. It is the bamboo meal. But I don't know what actually it is. Actually, when uh, you shama jiga. Uh, I actually don't know the name that she's mentioning. Uh, do 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 So, I I think it's it looks like the bamboo. It, it looks like it looks like the bamboo, but I don't know. She's saying that it is 15 RMB, but I don't know how this is. I don't know how it is, but um, I actually I actually would have loved to see somebody eat it before I buy. But now I don't know because I'm thinking that it should be. A, it's 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 actually in a bamboo, but I don't know. But generally, I think it is a fruit because this is a fruit shop. So I think it should be something related to fruit and all of them. But I don't know how it looks like. But you know, you let me come back and then have a taste for you to know how it looks like. Maybe my cameraman will sponsor me for this. Or I will sponsor him for that. I don't know. But whichever way, uh, they should actually tell you that this is the full street market. Yes. It is. So this is actually a stretch to show you that, yes, the whole stretch it belongs to the full street market. Because you have paintings of them and uh, a group of people eating. You know, one thing I love about Chinese people is that when they are eating they eat in groups and that is one of the things that you can you can uh, love about them so let's let's go and then to the other stretch stretch you know it, it, is, it is by far one of the biggest stretch that i've ever seen it is one of the biggest stretch that i've ever seen because when you look around from the very long stretch out there to the end of this place, right on to the channel that I just came from. It's still all about full streets here in China. And so realize that it is one of the biggest. And the way a lot of people are looking at me, I think I've become one minute celebrity here in China because everybody's looking at me. What, hey, God, what are you doing here? What are you showing your people? But I'm showing them the kind of food that we eat here in China. And so let's let's get going. But generally, I'm, I'm loving what I'm seeing here on the stretch. It's the best of all the market that I've seen around. And I'm yet to taste any of the food today for you to know the kind of food that we eat here in China. Yes. Any of the food. You can comment in the comment section and tell me which Chinese meal you know. Which Chinese meal you know. And then I'll give you a bigger shout out in my next video. So please tell me which kind of food that you have seen. Tell me what you think about Chinese food. Tell me, after watching this video, tell me what you think Chinese people eat and the food that you think you can also eat. And so let us go for you to also know what we eat here in China. Yes. Yeah. But so all too soon, I've just come to the end of the stretch. And the beautiful thing about breakfast here in China is that everything goes. That is how I will call it. Everything goes. Because we are from the fried ones, through to the fruits, through to the grilled ones, to the boiled ones, to everything, to the baked ones. And so the stretch is very, very beautiful. And whatever you want to eat, you will find here. And so I don't think you should have problems when you want to eat here in China. But generally, it is a very good sight to behold. And it is so much beautiful. But until then, please pause, subscribe, and tell me what you feel about the content and tell me what you think about the food that we eat here in China and how I'm going to see you here in China. So if you want to come to China, please.